Yeah, little fun fact, I actually lost my final sample of this hoodie from my Skinny Dip collection. I think I left it at the photo shoot and I didn't realize until like a couple weeks after that I didn't have this hoodie and at that point, it had already sold out in my size. A little bit on the oversized side for me, but it's okay. I'm just gonna roll the sleeves up. That's a bit better. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be testing some products that went viral on TikTok. Why did I just say viral so weird? Viral. <laughs> I've got the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. I've got the NYX, whatever this lip like long lasting liquid lipstick is that's supposedly super shiny but not transfer proof i've got the nyx marshmallow primer i just thought i would do a video dedicated to these new and viral products because i've been wanting to get my hands on these for the past couple of weeks both of these weren't available in the uk when they first started going viral on tiktok and doing the rounds they sell this mascara now on super dragon boots that's where it's in stock everywhere else is sold out and then the nyx paint it not paint it loud what's this called nyx shine loud what are these even called? Why am I struggling so much? NYX Shine Loud High Pigment Lip Shine. I managed to get one of these from Beauty Bay. When they first launched on Beauty Bay, every single shade sold out. And the other day I did go back on the website, some of them had restocked. Didn't manage to get the shade that I wanted, but this one I thought would do. And then I got this, which was a PR package from NYX. And the Marshmallow Primer is in here, which I've seen a lot of people talking about on TikTok. You know what? Most of these products I have wanted to try because of the mechanic. Kayla. What's her TikTok name? Because if you know who I'm talking about, she's got a very thick New York accent, I think. Is she from New York? I'm gonna sound so stupid if I've just got that wrong, but let me let me find her. Michaela Noguera. I've probably just completely ruined her name, but I love her on TikTok and she's actually spoken about quite a few of these products. She was raving about the marshmallow primer and I've got it in a PR package from NYX, so thank you very much NYX for sending this over. Also, in this box, there's a giant bag of marshmallows. Oh my God, <sighs> this package smells so good. Let's get into it. I wish I had the type of hair where I could put it in a ponytail and like not have any flyaways. My hair really does have a life of its own these days. <laughs> Here are some of the TikToks that I saw about the NYX marshmallow primer and I'm just gonna play them for you on the screen. Right, so this marshmallow primer is supposed to be a 10 in one primer product. It's got marshmallow root in it. You know what, NYX do some brilliant primers. Two of my favorites, which are actually in this packet. Oh, they've changed the packaging for Hydra Touch. Didn't used to look like this, but NYX Hydra Touch primer is one of my favorites. Also. The NYX Honey Dew Me Up, one of my favorite primers of all time. And I'm really, really happy that I've got a new one because I've actually used mine up. That didn't go so well. I'm not stopping until I've got one in my mouth. Oh yes, I don't normally like marshmallows that much. So this primer right here is 15 pounds in the UK, which is a bit more on the high end of a drugstore primer. So the 10 claims are extends makeup wear, smooths, softens, hydrates, soothes, evens tone, minimizes texture, blurs lines, soft focus finish, and keeps makeup fresh. I feel like a lot of the time when they do these 10 in one things, a lot of those are very similar. Like smooths, blurs lines, soft focus is kind of the same. I don't know, anyway. Looks like this, just cute baby pink packaging. It's got a pump and let's see what the texture's like. Ooh. You know what? The texture kind of looks like a marshmallow. It's almost this whipped formula. It kind of has a marshmallow smell. That's weird. It smells like artificial marshmallow smell. I mean, not that there's anything natural about a marshmallow. Oh yeah, the texture feels, oh my God, it actually, you know what? It actually feels like I'm putting marshmallow fluff on my face. Do you guys know marshmallow fluff? That stuff that's in a jar, that's whipped marshmallow. It actually kind of feels like that. Ooh. Okay, I'm putting it on my face. It does have quite a strong, sweet smell. Now it's on my face. It kind of smells like a mixture between shampoo and marshmallows. It smells sweet, but it also smells very sort of artificial. Interesting. I'm not really sure why. I guess because marshmallows are that soft matte sort of texture. I was expecting it to be more of a mattifying primer, but it actually feels more hydrating, which is quite nice, actually. It feels nice. It's smoothed over my skin really nice. Nicely, but can you see it's left my skin with a little bit of shine rather than I don't know I thought it was gonna be one of those kind of pore filling smoothing primers But it really feels more on the hydrating side, which I like but it's not like overly dewy and it's left my skin Feeling a little bit tacky. I wouldn't necessarily say that it's done everything that it claims to smooths Yeah, I guess it did kind of smooth my skin softens 
my skin does feel soft. Extends makeup, obviously, I don't know yet. Hydrates, yes, I would say. Soothes, I wouldn't say it's particularly soothing. Evens tone, no, it's just transparent. Minimizes texture, mm, not really, to be honest. I think I'd, I've never really found a primer, I don't know. Not a lot of primers I find really make a drastic difference in terms of texture because I do have quite big pores. Blurs lines, kinda a little bit, I guess. Mm, I don't know, maybe not. Soft focus finish and keeps makeup fresh. In terms of the freshness of it, like I said, it does look quite dewy and nice. In terms of a soft focus finish, I guess so, but like I said, I was expecting it to be a little bit more matte, but it does feel really nice. Let's put on some foundation and see how my makeup blends, because that's the key thing here. And what I really want to test here is, is this going to ball up when I blend in my foundation? So I'm using my Too Faced Born This Way uh, matte foundation in the shade Vanilla. Also guys, please let me know down below do you have any more products that you've seen go viral on the internet that maybe i've missed and you would love me to test i do have the fenty beauty powder foundation do you guys want me to do a full video on that or would you like me to include it in another video is there anything else that's launched recently Re recently launched recently that you guys want me to test please let me know okay what is going on with my hair here Ooh. so far so good right let me give a really good Oh, boys and girls, we have an interesting development. I'm not sure how well you can see on camera. Just here, if I kind of hold my finger so that there's more of a shadow, I don't really know if you can see, but here it's starting to peel a little bit just at the corner of my eyebrows. Yeah, can you see that? Do you see? There's like a little bit of peeling going on just here. The very strange thing is, a lot of the time with primers like this, I find that that sometimes happens with primers, but only at like the corners of my eyes here and like just below my eyebrows. I think it could be when I'm blending in my primer, maybe I just kind of end up too much product up here and don't like, I guess I don't really blend those bits very well. I'm more focusing on the rest of my face and my forehead. And then I just kind of, I don't know. I think I just don't blend in these bits as well as, the rest of my face because the thing is the rest of my face yeah the rest of my face like around my chin around my nose everywhere else that has not happened it was literally just at the corner of this eyebrow so i think maybe there was just a little patch that i hadn't blended in properly because the rest of my face is looking really nice actually so i've just turned the brightness down a little bit hopefully you can kind of see that my skin is looking really nice i actually think that my foundation blended really nicely on top of that apart from this one little patch which was a bit strange so i'd just take your time blending this into your skin well we're off to a pretty good start is this worth the hype the viral hype that it's got to be honest i still think that i prefer the honey do me up primer which is one of my favorites from nyx i would definitely use this again though and i will continue to use it and if i really like it it will probably end up in a favorites video but for now i would say that it is a nice primer does it do everything that it claims to no i think that's a bit over dramatized at the end of the day it worked it did the job it's supposed to um and i would use it again so I'd probably give this 8 out of 10. So I'm going to do the rest of my makeup and I'm going to use some cream products just to see what happens when I put cream on top of this combination because I know that cream products usually work nicely over the top of this foundation. So if I have any issues, then it's probably the primer. This is the Kiko contour stick that I used in a video not too long ago, actually. I don't actually know what's gotten into me, but I've really been liking cream products recently. Someone tell that to myself back in 2017, 2018. I would not have believed you, but it's just something about them. Very nice. Although I did forget to do concealer before I just did that. And now I need to conceal. I didn't mean to do that. Let me just add my concealer quickly and then get back to blending, I guess. Ooh, I've just noticed something. It's starting to do the same peely thing just here in like my sideburns where it's kind of started to peel off a little bit. Why has it done not done that on the rest of my face though? That's really strange. The rest of my face looks really nice, but just like around the edges there, there was a little bit that had kind of peeled. Also, these spots are just not wanting to be covered. So I'm just going to leave them. Interesting. I guess here is another place where I probably had maybe a bit of buildup of product. Has anyone experienced that before? Let me know. Cream blush. I'm using some blush from M -M -M Mitchell in the shade peach sugar 
yeah, I have to say the rest of my skin is looking really beautiful. Just be careful around the edges of your face, blend it in properly, because I think if you leave any bits that aren't blended in and you leave any sort of like buildups of the primer, they kind of dry and then go a bit funny when you blend in your foundation, so just bear that in mind. Right, I'm just gonna do my eyebrows and then a, maybe a little bit of eyeshadow, and then I'll be back to do to test the other product. Hi, so I'm back, and what I just used on my face was my Kiko bronzer, which is the Sun Celebration Honey Gold Waves bronzer. Like I mentioned all the time, this is limited edition. They don't do this exact one anymore, but they do have the same bronzer in different packaging currently on Kiko's website. I think it's reduced to £6.90 maybe. So I used some of this. I used the Milani Bellissimo Bronze Baked Powder Blush. And you're going to be shocked by this. I used a cream highlighter or lick, I guess this is a liquid highlighter over the top of my powder. This is the Rev... Rev I nearly said Revolution. This is the Revlon Skin Light Face Glow Illuminator in the shade 300 Sunrise Luster. It's quite natural. It just gives that sort of dewy glow to your skin. This stuff is beautiful and it works over the top of powder. Like, I'm not too sure why I decided to put this on, but it's really nice and it worked and I'm really happy about it. And I'm going to be testing the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. I have seen so many videos of this on my TikTok and people claiming that it's like the best mascara ever. People did the same thing with the L'Oreal Telescopic. That was a really good mascara, but let's test this one. It looks kind of similar. I love the packaging. It's just like, I don't know. It's just really cool. It's got the Sky High embossed on it, which I think is pretty cool. And this was $9.99. I managed to find it on Superdrug. The brush looks quite similar to... What mascara is it by L'Oreal? The one that's got the funny shaped bottle and like the handle that bends. I think it's called the Unlimited Mascara, L'Oreal Unlimited, which I absolutely love. The brush looks very similar to that. It's quite a, whoa, it's a really flexible brush. I really hope this is as good as it looks on TikTok, but. So I'm gonna do my usual wiggling at the root of my lash and then pulling up through. Oh my God, I can already tell that I'm gonna like this. The brush is so flexible though, which is really weird. Like it bends, bending a little bit as I put it on my lashes. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. pretty damn good. It's giving a little bit of volume as well as the lengthening, which I like. I would definitely say this is giving more volume than the L'Oreal Telescopic. You know what? The L'Oreal Telescopic has also got quite a flexible brush, but it's really gripping my lashes, as you can see, so that I can wiggle right at that root and then drag the brush up. Oh, I've made a bit of a mess, but it's okay. I'll clear that off in a minute. This is nice. It's making my lashes so long, which is what everybody said on TikTok. It's supposed to like really, oh my God. It's supposed to really lengthen your lashes. And bloody hell, has this got fibers in it or something? Let me just give you a close up. I know that my lashes are normally long, but look at that. On this eye, it seems to work a bit better than on this eye. Maybe I just need to do another layer. Yeah, look at this, what the hell? Okay, it does look a little bit clumpy, I will admit. So I have put on three coats now. Wow. Wow, that has made my eyelashes so long. Let me just get this little bit off my face. By the way, little trick with mascara, you know when you let it dry and normally you would use a cotton bud to get it off? If you don't have a cotton bud to hand, just use the your eyebrow spoolie. Works just as well. Okay, wow. I'm really impressed. Let me try my lower lashes. Thing is though, right, I know that some people hate this look and they don't like lashes that look like spiders and they don't like super long eyelashes and you want to keep it a bit more natural. Me personally, I'm very big on my mascara. I love mascara and my lashes, I would say with mascara on, they're one of the best features about my face probably. So I always want my eyelashes to stand out, but I do understand that this kind of lash look probably isn't for everyone. Yeah, wow. I'm really impressed. I really like it. I really, really like it. Right, so when I get this close to my camera, because my lights are literally kind of above me, I get some really crazy casting shadows, but hopefully you can see. Yeah, my eyelashes on this side, interestingly enough, have definitely gone a bit more curly than on this side, but they still look freaking amazing. It definitely adds more length than it does volume, but it still has given me a decent amount of volume. I think, you know, it's called the Sky High Mascara. It's supposed to be a lengthening mascara. It definitely did that. Do I prefer this to the L'Oreal Telescopic, which I recently tested? You know what? I'd say they're pretty much on par. Maybe this one takes it slightly. 
me. They're both really nice mascaras. Now I know that it wasn't a scam. <laughs> and the final product, which I'm a bit confused as to why this is blown up. No offense to NYX. This is the type of lipstick that I swear used to be popular about five years ago when I started YouTube that was very, very similar to this. It would have a liquid lipstick on one side and a lip balm. Most of them had a balm or a gloss on the other side. I used to have some by Rimmel and I'm sure they did the exact same thing where you get like a long lasting sticky, really gluey kind of liquid lipstick on one side and then a gloss to go over the top of it and it would last all day. I definitely had some of those a few years back but these have sprung into popularity recently because of TikTok, I'm pretty sure. I've seen so many people raving about these so let's just put it to the test. It's supposed to not transfer at all but the gloss side obviously transfers so let me just put some of this on. I went for the shade Goal Crusher. Doesn't smell of anything. It's got a nice looking doe foot. It's quite flat and pointed. Ooh, this colour's really nice. Judging from the tube, I thought it was going to be much more of a peachy shade, but this is actually the type of colour that I would go for. It feels quite thin, you know. I'm actually really glad I went for this colour. Yeah, it's an interesting formula. It feels quite thin when you put it on. Um, I just did two coats just to be sure, but oh my god, I can feel it drying and it's starting to get really sticky on the edges. I'm really sorry, Pinky's downstairs with James, but she's barking a little bit, but she's a dog, she's gonna do that. <laughs> so, my thing is with this type of product is you could just get, like, the type of liquid lipsticks that stay on your lips and do not budge at all. Usually the downside to them is that they're quite sticky, and that's why I tend to stay away from them because they're kind of, like, glued to your lips. But, if you put a gloss over the top of a very sticky, long-lasting liquid lipstick it would probably do a very similar thing to these NYX products because like I said I've tried similar things in the past I think what got people so excited about these is that the gloss side is very very glossy so it looks like you're wearing a beautiful lip combo with a gloss and normally if it was a pigmented gloss that would transfer over everything like if you kiss somebody if you're drinking from a glass it's gonna get on it whereas with this it's just gonna be the clear gloss that transfers I think a lot of people got confused for a while on TikTok and thought that the, even the gloss didn't transfer. That would be pretty spectacular. But, oh, did you see that? It's literally like glue, like it's glue. That would be why it's so long lasting. It's actually like glue. Let's now try the gloss side. Oh, that's interesting. The gloss is like a, it kind of looks like a nail polish brush. Again, doesn't smell of anything. Oh, that feels so strange painting it on like this. When my lips go back to normal, they look quite wrinkly. So I would say when you're applying this, don't apply it smiling. Try and apply it when your mouth is closed so that it really sinks into all the gaps. I mean the liquid lipstick part. Right, so I've got the gloss on. Gloss feels lovely. That's a really nice gloss. Interestingly enough, the gloss isn't sticky at all. That feels nice. And uh, first of all, let me give you a close up. So it does look for sure 100% like the type of product that would normally transfer. If you put on a gloss that was this color, it would just get all over everything. When my lips are resting naturally, they look a little bit wrinkled, but I think that's just my application. Now that this is on with the gloss, it doesn't feel uncomfortable. It doesn't feel sticky. The moment of truth. Okay, so as suspected, the gloss has transferred, which it is going to. The only bit of transfer that I've got of the liquid lipstick is from the very center of my mouth. A few bits kind of like crumbled off, but it's like the tiniest little flex on here that you can't even really see it. It's just like a bit that's kind of peeled off my lips that I think I didn't reach with the gloss. But yes, the gloss is gonna transfer. However, my lips still look very glossy and none of that color has just transferred. I feel like I should go get a drink or something to see if it will transfer onto a glass. Wait one sec. No lipstick on the glass. Pretend I'm drinking something. As you can see, no lipstick has transferred onto the glass. Again, the only thing that's transferred is the clear gloss. It works, it works. I would assume that throughout the day, the gloss is probably gonna wear off. Yeah, now that the gloss has come off a little bit, it's starting to feel a little bit more sticky, so you probably would have to keep applying the gloss or just any gloss, I would imagine, works over the top of this. Let's actually try with a different gloss to see if, you know, it's anything super special. I'm gonna try this with my Barry M Coco Loco Lip Oil Gloss. Let's see if this will cause it to break down. 
Again, no transfer, just the gloss has transferred. Interesting, okay, interesting. I probably would use this again if there was an event where I knew that I really wanted my lipstick to last. However, the one thing that I find with liquid lipsticks like this, when they are so stuck to your lips, I do find that when you start to eat something, like say I was eating a burger, first of all, I get crumbs probably stuck in it. Second of all, when it starts to come off in the inner center of your mouth, I find that it's really obvious. Do you know what I mean? When you have like a long lasting liquid, liquid lipstick, yes, not all of it from the edges is gonna come off as you eat, but touching them up is a little bit more difficult because when it does start to come off on the center of your lip, it's a little bit more obvious than if all of it just comes off like a regular lipstick. But that being said, does this work? Yes. Is the color really gorgeous? Yes. I really like this shade, which is called Gold Crusher. It's really nice. The gloss isn't sticky and it did work. It's non-transfer proof. Yes, the gloss will transfer, but the color doesn't. So, oh, I don't know what just happened to my voice there. And there we go. Hi guys, so it's actually quite a few hours later. It's like half seven in the evening. I'm just finishing off the edit for this video, but I did film this earlier today. Just wanted to give you an update. The mascara so far, like I know that my camera is probably like really shit quality. So far the mascara hasn't smudged. Those are just like the shadows under my eyes, but it hasn't smudged and the lipstick is still on. I did just have my dinner, I had some curry and it's still on, like it's worn off a bit in the middle and it started looking a little bit kind of crusty. So it hasn't stayed put. Like this is kind of what I meant earlier about it not fully lasting and like when it off when it wears off in the middle it looks a little bit weird but i mean most of it's i'm gonna answer a question of the day if you guys have got any questions for me it can be about literally anything leave them down below in the comments with the hashtag question of the day which makes it easier for me to find your question and i might answer it in my next video oh and also as well please leave me down below more products that you want me to test that you've seen blow up on the internet that maybe i haven't seen yet today's question comes from kaylin connor and they've said where do you see yourself your channel and your brand going in 2021 also do you see yourself as an influencer lots of love from the us thank you so much kaylin sending you love back to the us i would say in terms of my channel i did mention in a q a video recently that i want to try and do some things that are a bit different i'm not really sure what yet i just want to do some more stuff this year that's a bit more fun i did think for a while of potentially starting a gaming channel but i don't really think anyone would watch it <laughs> james has literally been telling me since we got together like so just make a gaming channel but like i just don't really think first of all I'm not very good at games. I just enjoy playing them. I don't know. I just don't, I don't really think people would watch it. Maybe I should do it as something fun. In terms of this channel, I am still going to continue with makeup. Soon, I'm going to be redoing this whole office, which is going to be exciting. In terms of my content, I just want to chill out a little bit and just create the videos that I like and that I enjoy and post when I want to post rather than putting pressure on myself because that way I think I, fi I will find a bit more love for it. And this week, I've really been enjoying filming, whereas the past weeks before that, I was kind of like really low and lacking any any motivation to really do anything. But I feel like this week I've got my spark back a little bit. It's constantly like, it goes in waves. It really is like a bit of a roller coaster. <laughs> so yeah, maybe this year we will see a few more lifestyle style bits on this channel, but I don't know. I'm just gonna kind of wait and see and see what happens with the world. Um, and if things open up a bit, maybe I can do some more fun kind of content, but I don't really know. Uh, in terms of my brand this year, I guess I'm just gonna be me. There might be some product launches maybe potentially who knows not not as me not like starting my own brand but who knows and do i see myself as an influencer i feel like there is such a negative stigma attached to the word influencer because i don't want this i want this to come across in like the best way possible there are some people that will label themselves as an influencer and all they really do is take on brand deals that they don't fully believe in they will just like push out all of these like ads and stuff that is with like i don't know slimming teas and stuff like that and i think when people think of the the classic influencer they think of that type of person whose instagram is just full of ads for products that they don't really believe in and they'll just do anything really for a bit of cash which i mean fair enough like you do you i don't know i'd rather i prefer referring to myself as like a youtuber because then when people ask like oh what is a youtuber like they don't know as much about it whereas if you say influencer people kind of roll their eyes and they're like, oh yeah, an influencer. I guess I do influence people as like what I do. So I guess I would class as an influencer, but like, I don't know, there's just a bit of a funny thing with that word. Do you guys know what I mean? So I'd rather say that I'm a YouTuber or a lot of the time I'll say that I'm a social media content creator if I have to write it somewhere officially. Because for some influencers, it would just be taking a quick snap with a product and uploading it, not really like doing anything with the photo, fish bash bosh, that'll be it. And they're done and they get on with their day and they just like post pretty pictures on Instagram. Whereas as a YouTuber, 
Twitter. There's a lot more that goes into it, like planning out video ideas, brainstorming for video ideas, doing research for video ideas, like, you know, believe it or not, searching on YouTube and watching other videos and getting inspiration and searching through TikTok for different products is you know, kind of, I have to do research behind some of my videos. Then obviously I set up all my equipment myself and then film, edit and upgrade camera equipment and get to learn how to use different editing programs, improving on my editing, making my channel art, making my intro, adding all the bits and pieces that go in between. Like it's a longer process than I think some people might think. And yeah, I don't know. So I guess I technically am an influencer, but I'm not really sure like that word tends to have some negative connotations. And I think a lot of people will think of influencer and think that you're just like a stupid airhead that doesn't really do anything and like there's zero effort that goes into it and you're just stupid. And I'm not, I'm not stupid, so. But that's what people seem to think. I don't know, I guess that's it. <laughs> I don't know, hopefully you know what I'm trying to say and hopefully I didn't offend anyone, but yeah. Right, I'm gonna go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will link these products down below. Interesting video. And I'm quite impressed actually with the things that I tried. I hope you guys are having a good day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.